Crash Tallwalker of the channel Mind Your Decisions posted a video back in September. I'm a relatively recent subscriber to his channel, so I'm just seeing it now. And I want to preface my comments here by saying that I thoroughly enjoy his content, and this is in no way meant as a slight against him. I have a link in the description to the entire video because it's worth watching, and if you like math, I suggest you subscribe to his channel too. However, on this one particular issue, I think he got it wrong. The problem is 60 divided by 5, parentheses 7 minus 5. What is this equal to? We'll solve this using the order of operations. This is commonly referred to as PEMDAS or BODMAS. It refers to the precedence of operations. We first have parentheses brackets, then exponents orders, then multiplication division, and finally addition subtraction. If you have multiple operations of the same precedence, you should evaluate them from left to right. So in this expression, we have some parentheses. So we should evaluate 7 minus 5 first. This is a non-controversial part of the question, and this is equal to 2. The argument is about what to do next. According to the order of operations, we should evaluate multiplication and division with equal precedence going from left to right. Therefore, we should evaluate 60 divided by 5 first. This will be equal to 12. Finally, we evaluate 12 times 2, and that gives us the correct answer of 24. So why do I think Presh Talwalker is wrong, especially given the fact that Google literally gives the same answer that he does? Because I can prove it. Yeah, pretty arrogant claim, right? Well, let me show you. This is the number 10. I'm not trying to be tricky by switching to binary or anything. Everyone looking at this would agree that this is 10. But this is not the only thing that is 10. For example, this is also 10. And so is this. In fact, there are an infinite number of ways you can write 10. For example, we can say 35 minus 25 is 10. Now everyone will agree 35 minus 25 equals 10. But there are other ways that we can write 10 than just this. For instance, we can see that both 35 and 25 have 5 as a factor. So we can factor out 5 and write 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 and parentheses equals 10. If you see this equation by itself, I'm sure you know exactly how to solve it. You would use the same PEMDAS procedure that Tallwalker demonstrated. So you would say parentheses first, 7 minus 5 equals 2. Now multiply 5 times 2, that equals 10. And if this is how you did it, Wrong. you got the right answer, but your method was incorrect. And because your method is incorrect, it will cause problems later on. Normally, I don't really care about that because whatever works, works, and that's the important thing. The problem is here, the method working disguises what is actually happening. So what is the correct way of evaluating this expression? It's easiest to show if we replace the numbers with variables. Now we have a parentheses b minus c and parentheses. How do we expand this out? We can't just solve b minus c and multiply a into that because we don't know what b minus c is. But we can still expand this. We can multiply both variables by a and get ab minus ac. And this is actually what you are doing when you have five parentheses, seven minus five, and parentheses. You're not doing the math in the parentheses first. You technically are multiplying the five and the seven to get 35. That's the AB section. Then you multiply five and five to get 25. That's the AC section. Then you subtract those two values and get 10. Now, for normal math that we run into everyday arithmetic, it's a lot easier to just add up everything in the parentheses and do a normal multiplication. Functionally, it is the same, but only in this limited type of equation. As soon as you get into more complex equations or have unknown variables, you simply cannot think of parentheses as multiplication. It is not multiplication, not in the sense that this symbol means multiplication. This is factorization. Any number outside the parentheses has to be distributed through the entire parentheses. In order to show what's happening here, let's add a zero into this equation. Clearly, 5 plus 0 equals 5, so adding 0 doesn't affect the value. 
So let us just, just say x equals 0, and we can write the equation as follows. 5 plus x, that quantity, times 7 minus 5 plus x as a quantity. Now we've added 0 to both terms because x equals 0, so we know this is identical to what it would be if it was just 5 parentheses, 7 minus 5, and parentheses. So how would you solve this? Clearly we can simplify the right-hand term pretty easily and get 5 plus x times 2 plus x. Both of those are quantities. Seen in this manner, everyone familiar with algebra would know how to solve it using the FOIL method. So first, outer, inner, last. Thus we get 5 times 2 plus 5x plus 2x plus x squared. So that simplifies to 10 plus 7x plus x squared. But since we know that x is 0, we know 7x equals 0 and x squared equals 0. So the answer is 10. But as I said earlier, I can actually prove that 60 divided by 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 end parentheses cannot equal 24. So let me go ahead and prove it. I'll use the standard proof by contradiction. In other words, let us assume that 60 divided by 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 end parentheses does in fact equal 24. Well, we've already established that 35 minus 25 equals 10. And we also know that factoring 5 out, we get 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 equals 10. With this, all we have to do now is divide 60 by both sides of this equation. And we get the original equation, 60 divided by 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 on the left-hand side equals 60 divided by 10. Now we have assumed that 60 divided by 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 and parentheses equals 24. So we can substitute 24 in, and we have 24 equals 60 divided by 10. But 60 divided by 10 equals 6. Therefore, 24 equals 6. This is clearly false, and therefore our original assumption must also be false. Not only that, we can just take the assumption out and put back in the original equation there. 60 divided by 5 parentheses 7 minus 5 end parentheses equals 6. So when you see these types of problems, especially on Facebook, the key to remember is that parentheses do not mean multiplication. It means a factor has been pulled out of the equation. If you do not expand out the parentheses before you do anything else, you will end up with math that results in contradictions. Those cannot be, therefore you must treat these as factors, not as multiplication.